Hi everyone, I'm Bea and I'm here to teach you Italian in the most effective way as possible. I would like to make an entire course and to teach you how to really speak and understand this language and not only give you like fixed expressions or words that you have to learn by heart, but to start I think they can be very useful just to give you 15 fixed expressions and words that you can start to learn, memorize and practice also for the pronunciation. So let's start to learn this beautiful language. is a course for absolute beginners, so we can start from the very famous Italian ciao. Ciao means hello, but also goodbye. So you can say ciao when you enter in a place, but you can also say ciao when you are leaving from that place. But please remember that ciao is very informal. If you, for example, enter in a cafe or in a shop, you will never say ciao. You will say buongiorno. Be careful with the pronunciation of this word. In particular, maybe you should practice the final O, which is very close and doesn't present any U sound. If it's after uh, 4 p.m., I will say, it's better to say buonasera. So, buongiorno and buonasera are the more formal ciao. Then, how do you say my name is? Well, actually, we have two fixed expressions that you can use in this case, the structure. The first expression is mi chiamo plus your name. So, for example, mi chiamo Beatrice. Be careful with the pronunciation of the word chiamo. Chiamo is a particular sound. It's like the key sound that you open, that you used to open the door. So practice like mi chiamo plus your name. The second fifth expression is the literally my name is, which in Italian is il mio nome è plus your name. Il mio nome è Beatrice. So, to say my name is John, you can say il mio nome è John or mi chiamo John. Then, if you're in Italy, you will probably need to say yes and no. To say yes, we use the word sì. Si. And to say no is no. No and no, so the English version and the Italian version are written in the same way. But you have, be, you have to be careful with the pronunciation because in Italian is no without any U sound. Then in the middle, yes, no, we have maybe, which in Italian is forse. So if you don't know how to reply to your question, you can say forse. Then please is uh, per favore, which are actually two words, but we pronounce them as a singular one. So per favore, be careful with the final E. You have to pronounce it like a E, like in the expression, for example, and not like an E. So it's not Per favori, it's per favore. Thank you is grazie. Be very careful because we have the sound IE, which is not just I e, as you will pronounce in English. So you have to say grazie, pronouncing the final E. So we have two different letters and we pronounce them both. So grazie. If you want to say uh, thank you so much, you can say grazie mille, which actually is thank you 1000, so a lot of thanks. And if you want to say thank you a lot, for example, you can say grazie tante, which is also very used, but maybe more formal. So you can say thank you, grazie, thank you so much, grazie mille, thank you a lot, grazie tante. To reply to the word grazie, we use prego, which is you're welcome. If you want also to say that for you doing the things that you did for that person was not a problem, you can also say di nulla or di niente, which means like, no worries, it was not a problem for me. Niente has the same sound that we have in grazie. So you have to say niente and not, for example, niente. So you have to pronounce both the letters. To say sorry, we use the word scusa. And to say I'm sorry, you can say scusami. So scusa and scusami. To say excuse me, we use mi scusi. So in English, you have two different expressions, which are sorry and excuse me. In Italian, they're very similar. We have scusa and mi scusi, which is much more formal. Of course, in Italian, we have I don't know, which is non lo so, with a lot of O sounds. And I don't understand, which is non capisco. So when you don't understand something, you can just say non capisco. You will use it a lot in the beginning, but I'm sure that if you continue to follow these videos, you will never say non capisco again. Then we have three more expressions and words that I would like to teach you. 
The first one is va bene, which is actually a synonymous of d'accordo. They both mean like, that's okay, that's all right, it's okay, it's all right. So if you want to say, for example, yes, that's okay, you can say, sì, sí, va bene. Or you can also say, sì, sí, d'accordo. Then I would like to give you the first expression, start a conversation. How to start a conversation in the most basic way? Of course, asking, how are you? So, how are you? In Italian is, come va, come va? So, if you want to start the most basic conversation, you can say, ciao, come va? Hello, how are you? Okay, I think that now we can stop. I gave you like 15 fixed expressions now you can, and words. Now you can start to practice them. If you have any question or any doubt, please leave them in the comments. I would love to give you any help that you might need. I would love to see all the suggestions that you have, all the opinions that you have. So please comment down below. And thank you for following this video. Uh, grazie mille. And see you in the next one.